Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are doing great. So a couple of days ago, I shared with you the upgrade process from Android 11 to Android 12 for the Nokia 835G. So in today's video, I'm going to share some of the differences that I've noticed. And uh, for those of you who have not received the upgrade, you can always try the VPN tricks. The details on how to do it is in Nokia Power user site. And for those of you who have received it, do comment whether you have come across any bugs or any new features that is added. So with me here is the Nokia 8V. This is running on Android 10, a custom software based on Android 10 for the Verizon exclusive devices here. Now, we're going to explore some of the new features that I've experienced on the uh, Nokia 835G. And I've been using this for a couple of days and I have to say that this is one of the most stable updates that I've received in recent time. So uh, out of the bat, you can see I'm going to set both these devices to maximum brightness. So you can see here that the um, both these devices, they look pretty same in terms of the display output. But if you were to look closer, then you'll notice that the colors on the Nokia 8B is slightly more punchier. Whereas the ones on the Nokia 8.35G is more softer to the eyes, more pleasing, I would say. And I think this is one of the nicer additions. Uh, it doesn't look as intrusive as the ones on the 8B where colors are very punchy, very poppy. Uh, this looks just nice to me. And another thing that you can uh, realize is the background here. Both of them have the dark mode activated, the dark theme which is available or which was introduced with Android 10 is available here. Now what you can see is that the ones on the Nokia 8B is slightly grey and the ones on the Nokia uh, 8.35G is more darker or more black in that sense. So a much punchier uh, color contrast on the Nokia 8.35G as compared to the ones on the 8V here. So another thing that I've noticed is that uh, Android 12 actually introduced a large icon and a slightly larger font as well. So you can see that uh, things are easier to be controlled for single-handed use compared to the ones on the 8B here. And even the drop-down notification has introduced a couple of new features. One of them is that now you can actually switch on and off your device through this dedicated button which is available here. So some of the new addition to the notification drop-down menu is this option to control your devices. Uh, which was previously accessible through an app. You can now have it directly pinned to your notification site. And uh, if you were to explore further, then you'll notice some other additions such as the extra demote, uh, super battery saver mode, and also live caption. So I'm going to share with you what the uh, extra demote is. So if, uh, let me just go back. All right, so with extra demote activated, it brings to you a whole new level of dimness. It is so black that you can barely see anything. And this is ideal if you're in a, in a very dark situation, such as in cinema, you have to open your phone for something and you don't want to disturb anyone around you. You can probably just activate this mode and it won't be intrusive to others in that sense. So this is one of the new features which is available on Android 12. The other being the super battery saver mode. Now I'm just going to show you what the super battery saver mode does. This is actually available in many other devices uh, in even on uh, running on earlier versions of Android and these are third-party apps which you can actually use and also comes in certain devices uh, but what makes the ones on the Android shop here different is that uh, this is a much more improved version so if I were to activate the super battery saver mode it will restrict most of my apps at the back. Now, this is similar to most other devices out there in that sense. But what makes it different is that instead of just limiting it to calls and texts, you can also pin your favorite apps that you want to sync in the background. So you do have access to uh, one of them was uh, Chrome. You can have access to Gmail. So what you can do is you can select up to about three apps that you want to uh, up to three apps that you want, as you can see here, to pin down on your uh, super battery saver mode, which you can still have access to the background connection. So this is one of the cute, cool features that I think is uh, definitely, definitely uh, one of the uh, new features that will be appreciated by others, especially those who have to travel a lot and have hardly time to charge their devices. So another cool feature that I've experienced with the uh, Android shop on the Nokia 835G is that the camera, the camera is now much more stable compared to the ones on the Android 11, which tends to crash a lot and fails to save images. And that was one of my frustrations that I had. Uh, having said that, I did experience one or two instances where the images were not saved. Uh, especially using the night mode algorithm. Now, I'm going to share with you some of the images taken to the uh, new camera, updated camera on the Nokia 
5G at the end of this video, uh, I will be making a separate dedicated video to compare the performance of Nokia Dot 3 5G and a couple of other devices. And you can see whether there has been any improvements or not. So uh, with that said, have you come across any new bugs? Have you come across any new features? Do comment in the comment section below or do tag me in Twitter. Uh, till then, I hope to see you in the next video. Do take care and stay safe.